no, this it is, is like main event. We're, we're having our main course at, for breakfast. This is dessert. Yeah. 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 So up next, you have to have broccoli, and then after that, I think there's soup. Mm. But a t- creamy tomato soup with some some oh, nice as lo- as long nice as it's bread. Not, as long as it's not gazpacho. Have you ever had gazpacho no. soup? No. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, this one better be damn delicious. Let's see. Australis. He's that ancient. We Look, covered this off yesterday against Monty. They were getting mid control quite easily. B lane control was no dramas. Monty weren't really aggressive across the map. Well, they were going to go into Util for Stare again. He seems to be the one tasked with that more often than not. A couple of flashes for Stout. Bomb on the back of Yabby. And a P250 in the hound, hands of Blame F. 4B, not even just 3. They're out mid. Red smoke and elbow smoke exchange. Blame F silently, so there's no early tells. But the possibility, always on the docket, is he's going to apply some pressure towards red. And he was doing this yesterday as well, Alex, on the anti-ecos, the gun rounds. Interesting. With the bomb. Yeah, so the bomb goes red room? I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it could very well. Oh, it's going to work out perfectly. It's going to work beautifully. So he knows Glaive's jiggling. Too late oh. now. Too late now, Lukash. He's passed. Yeah, he is, and D has no idea. But he is forward in main. So but well. they're still towards B. Why yeah. don't you just pivot through Donut, lads? If you lads? take the bomb. Blame's in Temple. Pivot through Donut. Blame's going to call it very quiet, and then what do you do? You'd run through mid, you've got loads of time. So let him work. If he could find A main, but that would now, be crazy. He's not going to go any further oh, than that. I don't, but you know, he, he hasn't discovered anything, really. Feels like a B stack. Yeah, let's get out of there. And they will. Deher, he needs to activate. He'll hear this donut steps. Rotation's on the way. How does Deher play this? Do you choose to be passive? Do you play retake? I don't see how this one's going to go too well as Glaive's nailed it. Here we go, Chad. That's the first. He's Glaiving. Kyla onto set. Need another from Deher. Does well with the dual Berettas. And it's just fallen disintegrated for Astralis. Five alive. They're already defusing. Uh, yeah, they are. And... Uh, Deha, dead. Now, ooh, another one from Device. He could find Glaive off the bomb. He needs to find him now. And defused. Ents will take it. Gave it a good go, though, did Device. Three from three in the pistol department, I do believe. Hmm. Correlation with victory, typically. Now, because of the setup that Ents had, they were always willing to give up Donut to A. Touche. Which means blames pressure because it was so passive as opposed to stalling out the rotation through CT did what, Alex? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zilch. Nada. Not a thing. Zero. He wasn't jarring on the rotation. They learned nothing new, but they got the bomb down. Which means we get this round. It's going to be Glills and each cheeky AK-47 for device by virtue of that double kill. And Kyler, he wants to fight them here. He's nading that smoke there. Up oh, the ramp, doesn't see anything. Fires off a warning shot. Goofy, good nade, right on the toes. They're looking the wrong way. Glaive strafes out for one, make it two. And just like that, Astralis sent back to spawn. All their pennies invested and nothing in return. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's two rounds in, Drama Queen. No, but it's the nature of the two rounds. Yeah. Three francs total for Astralis. Ooh. When you were able to thread the needle in the way that Blame did, it, it, ooh, okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's, it's in the past, and we're looking to the future. Elbow smoke, b smoke, both Insta from spawn. We need to facilitate pressure for Ents. Elbow smoke didn't land perfectly, but still does the job. Kyla up and over. Ledge is his. And B-lane. All for Ents. Easy for Ents in this one. They shouldn't have too many dramas. There are Deagles, which likely will just wait out the block utility. Let's see if they can get a couple of bangers and mash. We have seen them have successful Deagle rounds. There's been a, a, a few. They've been able to rip off heads. You can see a device here. Tempting to look through the, the gap at the top of the door. Much easier to do with a scoped rifle than a Deagle. I don't know how keen his eyes are. He's getting a bit old, device. I'll tell you, Hades must have keen eyes, because if you could see his crosshair, it is the tiniest dot I've ever seen. What res do you reckon he's using? From a professional player. Probably 4-3 stretch, 12, 960. Ah, I'm telling you, the deagles on these boys. Astralis hit hard with the hand cleaves. Yeah, but hold on. Hades, with his tiny crosshair, has a big plan. Mollies it, traps him, and takes him down. The gap's on B, pressure on Goofy. Goofy's handled himself well in the first test. He's got Glaive in support with him, and the Molly does do exactly what it was needed to do. 
Channels them up the lane. Glaive's ready to receive the cross. Go on, Glaive. That's one. Make it two. Down to Blame. M4 to be retrieved. He'll scoop that up. And now it's two of them with the bomb on their back and with only 27 seconds. But running through mid is just, ooh, not fun. Because here comes Kyla. Perfect off angle. There will go down. And so will Blame. It ends. They're finding these rounds comfortably. That's the most threatening round Astralis have had. And it was with just Deegs. Kyla let now a bit of a roar. Well, I don't speak Danish, but something uh, about chopper. Uh, I'm sure that's a Danish word. But, I heard uh, ninja. I don't know. Yesterday they were using uh, red smoke as well as donut smoke to go for a lot of mid aggress. Let's see if Australis have a similar game plan. As discussed just a few rounds ago, they were getting blame across towards red. They were pressuring the rotations. It can actually be heaven smoke blocking off cave. Lurk smoke. That'll, lip, that'll make Goofy's options a bit different to how he's been operating previously. He's been seeing, te seeing teams, excuse me, uh, operate with boost to deal with this. Right now, it's just going to be jumping from that triangle side. Kyla forced into a line of sight on the fade. Catches a perfect timing. Oh, he knows there's more. Oh, the team play, the spam. It's brutal. Astralis. Suffocating on B. Stair gets away with a kill, but he's down to 29 points of health. Yeah, that combination of aggression with the, the uh, Glaive wallbang as well was really nice. You can see that it limits their options severely. So starting these harms in the dumps are Astralis. Ents were able to pick up five consecutive rounds on the first half of map number one. Right now looking likely to pick up their fourth. So when you combine, combine the starts of... Vertigo's first two halves, they were able to get seven mm. out the gates. Mm -hmm. You heard Apex talking about this in his winner into just the other day. Especially with their foray against Cloud9. Here's Glaive. And there's Yabi. Fates out of the shot. Done. Really good move. Yeah, Yabi's done well there. He's managed to manufacture a 3v3. Rotating is Hades. Smoke is there for sure. Takes the fight on long, no one home. Molly to stop that occupation, stare up the ramp, and bomb seems like a guarantee at this point. Yabby to punch in the code, gets it down. How do they handle this retake? You've got flashes. Yeah, that's it, though. Someone's going to have to take a bit of a play, maybe through the long smoke. It's uh, Stair, who's low on ramp side, blame towards the cave. That's info. They know that trajectory came from Cave. Here they go. Starting to fight. Deha. Ooh, punishes Yabby's miss. Still tough. Still very uncomfortable. And given the time, it needs Hades frack. Now it could be over. Hang on a second. Fake. Stare 2 HP. Deha will find him. I don't know kit. if he's got the time. No, no time. If he had the kit on him, potentially. I think he did, but no, not to be. Instead, it's going to be Astralis breaking their silence in round four. Yeah, the kit was on. The, they had kits on their teammates, just not on Deha. Yeah. So he's spending the time to go pick that up, not the opportunity required. And that is a round that we just love the start. And here it is again, Kyla Pip in the gap, getting a nice little double up, the spam through from Glaive. But because he was spamming, unable to swing out and trade, so Stair gets to stay alive. And this one from Yabby, baiting out Glaive. Great work. Smooth moves from the Yapster. And Astralis will post their first. What was a round that felt like should never have been theirs. Great work with the number disadvantage. This is going to be quite quick from Astralis over towards B. I've been impressed by Goofy's proficiency and holding on to this B site in the past. There's Hades in support and he's missed his chance. Oh dear, they're accelerating. They're about to missed surge into the site. Hades, third miss. Dead man. Oh dear, and lost his orb without a single frag to boast. I didn't even Safe. how blind he was on many of those, was he? Definitely harassed, but was it white screen? That might be a save immediately. Oh, yeah, but you don't, you'd like to save the orc, but it's in enemy territory. You ain't getting hands on that. Oh, you yellow yabby's trying to catch Goofy's escape. Kind of taken down device, so maybe that's a rifle eventually. We'll see Deha onto Yabby. That's going to be the determining factor here. Yabby could clear. Or not, going to be run down. Deha using that mobility Very on the MP9. Though. Making it costly for Astralis. Glaive's locked the door on red exit. So they're actually kind of trapping them in here. Go on, Glaive. What have you got for us? He's got one. He's got two. And nearly another onto Stair. Will he get away, though? There's a hunt coming Bang. from Kyla. 
If he does survive, Kylo will not be able to get there in time through Donut. He saved the orb at least. That's nice. That is a great save and a, a good round from Astralis. A really good response. And it felt like Hades had a couple of opportunities. So getting run down the orb on B, isolated. He had at least three shots that could have been his. That could have been the difference maker. Yeah. Well, what is the buy looking like for Ents? So they take a save behind the save rifles and make sure the purchases with the loss bonus of 2,400 and the next comes through. It looks likely. P250s mm. addressing the concern around the A1, AK, and Galil. And expecting a bit of an absence of utility in mid. They actually flirted with something a bit more poppy. Performance mid all. The damage has helped, hasn't it? Uh, a Galil, a MAC-10, but they've still got a lot of util to spring into action late. Blame. He smokes Donut and starts to run. Yeah, just missed util in oh. multiple occasions. Oh, Kyla. He really, really feels like he should have done more with that. Now he's getting run down. Blame even heard the lick of the flame. Hades on the timer. Yeah, a little bit of maneuver ability. Red hot. Oh, if he goes around the long way, he won't find any action. And Blame's actually considered this. It does work out better for Hades. Ooh. Well, what was that heard? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Because we are getting some sound cues that come through the headset. Definitely. Players like changing like quick guns. switching. Exactly, that's which like obviously demo we know yeah. they can't hear. So, but that sploosh. Yeah. Seems to have been heard. Definitely so. Well, a chance Wait, for Ents. You see that from Glaive? He's, he just walked in, grabbed the rifle and pieced out. I mean, it's certainly not better than a P250 into the next. Condemned towards B, three to three. Okay, we got a game here, folks. We definitely do. Glaive does already have seven kills. Or is he going to be able to put his foot down? Remember, last time, 13 to 4 in favor of Ents. Well, Stralis just need one more round and they've been able to level that score line. I do not expect it to be such a one sided affair device. Is he going to step over that magic line drawn in the sand? Well, you'd think Blame would with the MAC 10. He's nowhere close to go for this type of a fight. He's tucked over towards T Spawn. The device will not take the risk. That's like a warning <laughs> shot. Who kind of wanted to. All right. And we will be able to see the buy for Ents now. I like that Astralis picked this. I like that it's them, them saying, like, you know, we know, we know you're not going to do it again. It was 20 days ago, bro. You were riding that Polish buff. Exactly. Yeah. You and can't do it again. You can't do it again. You're not in Poland. Tactical timeout. Opportunity for Cuban to get on the mic. This was a map that I thought Apex had some... Pretty good strats on, a good understanding of. So if that's something that Cuban can bring across from his tenure on that Apex roster, bow them out because we know, we talk about the nine core and their proficiency on Vertigo. So it would be unjust of us if we didn't talk about their lack thereof on Ancient. It was a map that plagued them for a long time, but also means they got a lot of practice on the map. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't I mean, put through the ringer on it. I think you kind of, it goes both ways where you, you have a team that has a weakness that they're forced into by opponents picking it so frequently, you end up getting so many reps, it, it no longer is your weakness. Well, the odds seem to agree with history. Yeah. Not recent history. They want to see Mirage. Didn't see that in recent history. Same opening smokes. Doors just off the mark, but still should do the better part of the job. This time, a 3-2 split the defense to vie for control. Oh, and those nades oh. with the spam. That's a beaut. Oh, and that gets better. Dead's down. Glaive finds himself another frag towards this B-Doors area. Well, they had an advantage like this before. It was a 3v4 that they dropped. This time a 5v3. Can they get this one across the line? Trying the boost this time with the AWP. You can see that gap the device was looking for previously with the Deagle in hand. Cheeky one. <laughs> it's his leg shot maximum, isn't it? Gosh, a pixel. <laughs> a pixel. <laughs> Much cooler when we're looking at it. I with like it. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, he's given it up. At least he knows where Goofy is. That's some information to work with. What do you do with this? Do you just kind of crouch peek it? Do you boost? You, boost? you have to do a banger of a shot, don't you? 
go, Goofy. Not having any of it. No, but still nice from Stair. Proactive charges up the ramp. Glaive doesn't finish it. Lots of damage. Hades one back. Molly limits their options. Spots the bomb on the cross. Device picks it up. Smokes off Speedway and will get that bomb down. Fast flank from Kyla coming in from Cave. Dia joins Hades. It's be a 5v3. Yeah, Stair. He found the entry, but can he find the closer? They've doubled up on long. Kyle is going to report that the rest of the site's quite clear. Stair, are you really not ready for this? Not at all. And so Device. And a one versus three. Pressure mounting. He's already nailed the first onto Deho. He's isolating these jewels now. Oh, and you need to see Hades be proactive. Join the squad. Missed shot. And Ence will take the retake. Device feels like he could have done more there. Well, Hades is going to get his hands on that AWP as well. A round that felt like it was getting out of control, but handled. Two survive. Four now posted. Back into the winning ways. That spree of three for Astralis. Stop short. And this was the opener from Kyla. The double nades. The light lick onto Blame. Great that Hades was there to respond because Glaive did a lot of damage, sure, but nothing lethal. lethal. And if it was a 3v3 on the post plant, maybe that was the difference maker. As Cuban, extremely happy with that round victory. Device back into an orb. Blame on a Mac 10 again. The rest with rifles and same openers. Oh, they were really worried about a mid push. You can see they've actually gone double molly. So they've gone the close and the door molly, but it's pressure towards A. Deha currently tucked in behind the site. Smokes are in the air towards this A site. Donut and CT. Oh, Deha's feeling the pressure. He's going to give himself some freedom to maneuver here. In case they molly, he can jump up, try and find a safe haven. And Hades, what? Sorry, He's just what? nailed. What? what is that? Two through the smoke. Upon the entry, Astralis, flustered now, confused as to how Hades has done that. Yabi claws one back. Kyla dead as well. What Suddenly, a 5v3 goes three on three. Is Kyla looking at his radar? It's a messy one from him. He's had a couple of uh, missteps on mid. They're actually re-clearing together. So Glaive and Goofy, the double Gs. Yes, please. Down, good for one, but not ready for Goofy. Traded off, bomb. And AWP on Blame. How many AWP frags has Blame had in his career? I guess it's better than a MAC-10, but still, they have to make a decision at some point soon. You know where Hades was? 35 seconds on the clock. Hades still posted. Oh, that's enough information for Blame, but he's got the bomb. you got to get a move on yeah, here. Maybe he'll swing this. Jump, bait, swing, and oh, two! <laughs> for the price of one! I don't think he realized he got the double. The look back. Oh, Astralis. They just completely turned that round on its head. That was a three versus five. You can see Hades' face because he's like, I, I did get two he ridiculous. Did. And here they are. So there's the smoke, fully plumed, just on a timing, staring device dead. Bang. Not a chance in the world. To think, hold on a second. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, disgusting. I, I guess when you got Glaive on your team, you can see through smokes, right? Okay, well, that's a that's a gift. Beautiful work from Astralis. And a momentum shifter. Yeah. This T side looking to rack up a couple of consecutive now. Yabi charged with the housekeeping A main. Shouldn't get out of control. He has seen enough, hasn't he? Well, there's a mid push as well. Oh. Yeah, Goofy actually found Yabi, and now it's Blame's turn. The Eco Cobra strikes. If we did live in the, in the dodgeball universe, Blame would definitely be part of the Globo Gym. I can see that. Blame, you've had your fun. Backs off, takes the fights down. Remove him from play, Astralis. Now done better than they did last time they locked horns, and this is looking very good for their T-side campaign on Ancient. Okay, something about doing a default. Is it? Wow, Chad, you are getting better. Thank you very much. You've been practicing before Copenhagen, have you? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, you can only speak Danish in Denmark. That's how the rules go. Yeah, yeah they don't speak any English over there whatsoever. No, nope, not at all. No, they're not proficient in English. Where, where? Three, two, harassing Goofy towards long with a couple of HEs. Kyla up. Yeah, but they are trapped behind this smoke. They're going to come through off the flash. Interesting lineup. It's a deviation from what most teams are doing. Just bounces off the wall and it's good. Did the job. Yeah. But B lane's clear. 
Well, they must have known they were going to get denied this territory on the gun rounds. So this is Ensa's La standard opener. Yeah, and last time this happened, last time this flash came through and they confirmed it clear, they hit A. And it seems that that might be happening again. Well, Hades doesn't have an AWP this time. He has the A contribution from Diha in Donut. Hades now pivoting a little bit deeper in towards the site. There are, eh, there's a lot of util for Astralis to make this one work. The two of them up close and personal now. Diha. Scary, scary. Yeah, he's just gone round the corner. Missed time to clears. They're going to get them both. Safe. Yeah, got to be. A open. Astralis, this is a T site to be proud of. You know, Blame's been pulling the strings, calling the shots, and now Astralis are up to six. Glaive loses his rifle as well. The reroute was really quick, right? The fact that they've all just immediately darted back. Enter still waiting for the fate of the smokes, expecting it to be respected. And immediately they go for A main control. If you're Ents at that point, I imagine you're just expecting them to be posturing outside B and middle, but they were all in main. So the clear cost them and they might lose everything. Now they've been noted, devices orb, trained, down the ramp. The close play of Goofy, they might go overlooked. Device. Saunters in. Could be an AWP for Hades. Oh, he's going to knife him. Oh, but he's lost his teammate. That ain't oh. worth it. That ain't oh. worth it at all. Oh, you look silly now. Yeah, device says, nah, not on my watch, buddy. Oh, you are looking dear. goofy. Oh, dearie me. You've awoken the, the beast. Device thinking, okay, these, these guys are so confident they're trying to knife me in a round they've already lost in a six-round T-half. But if it was in the back, why didn't he, why right didn't he right click? Because he really wanted to disrespect him. Goofy, you look like a... Bit of a tit. What's the noise Goofy makes? <laughs> if you did that on cue with the knife, it would have been epic. <laughs> that might have been one of the greatest casting moments in the history of any video oh, game. Oh, man, don't say that. I've missed my opportunity now. There might be another one. Oh. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Yeah, could we? Yeah. Well, producer. second tactical timer. Here it is. Wait, here it is, Alex. Okay. As you can see, Device, he actually hit the shot, killed his teammate, and then <laughs> left, clicking him in the back to 2 HP. 2 HP as well, you muppet. Yeah, that's... You Looney Tune. Well, it's not Looney Tune. No, it's not. What is it? Um, Disney something. Yeah, you cartoon character, you. Yeah, they're not the Looney Tunes. What are they, they then? It must have a name. Not Mickey the, Mouse and Friends? The Clubhouse? Wait, they missed the door smoke. Well, everyone's a bit flustered after. They are, and they took a timeout. Well, so Mirage is map three. Joking, of course, sorry for that, and shouldn't have clapped into the microphone either. Breaking all the rules. Stralis, look at the team effort, by the way. The kill spread is mad right now. Six, 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 seven, eight, six, eight. Speaking in hexadecimal. Oh, lovely. Goofy. He's done a lot there. Maybe around taking shape from Enz and a redemption song from Goofy. Timing that perfectly as they come to clear him. Lame, however. Spots out D here. All D has to do is live because yeah. he's this whole loose piece. The fight top middle. Blame will Tyler. get one back. So overstepping the mark. Blame's found a gap to work with. And he's immediately just jumped into it. But they need to get the bomb. I think the problem for Yabby, when he picks this up, he knows that he needs to go... Back to B? Blame's already yeah, like... you've got to go through lane. You... Oh, oh. This is a free kill. Look at this from Blame. Oh, Great yes. decision making from Blame. Beauty. I know d -Hart still lurks in the mist. <laughs> Good luck, Goofy. Needs the ace. Yeah, it has to be. And it's onto Device next, so watch this. Takes him down. Seventh oh. round. It started very strongly, but uh, yeah, just a couple of overextensions from some of his teammates. Yeah, and it's weird one with all the timings. You can see just how quick it fell apart for Ents scampering for control. And Glaive's not getting in away with another one of those mammoth performances. He's being kept a lid on. It's Kyla with the most frags so far. Ents having a tough time. And that was with the pistol, the conversions. What should have probably been a fourth round on the trot where they had a number advantage. So Astralis. They are looking good, and they should be feeling good. Yeah, I mean, you know, you talked about the Polish buff. How about the Danish buff when you know that you're going to be just two maps away? Today, you can secure yourself an opportunity to perform in front of the home crowd. Yeah, and part of the conversation yesterday was if Astralis didn't make it, which now we have the LCQ. It's taken the sting out. It's not the end of the world if they lose today. Mm. But it would have been if they did yesterday. 
And that would have been three consecutive majors that Astralis would not have been at. And yeah. we were discussing the other dynasties, which are either not going to be there. NIP, Fnatic is one who is in the LCQ. Some of the bigger names in Counter-Strike. Not only just CSGO, but history. It's so bizarre. May not be in attendance. Let's see what Glaive's got for us. And it's nothing more than damage. the only air defender. It's been taken off the site. Should be fine. Full commit. Looking to end strong here. Trying to deny that plant, and he wasn't far off on the spray, but Device gets it down. Late arrival of Stown. Still a player on B and Goofy. He's going to get cleared. Goofy should have this because of the... The bait. Yeah, a nice little bait. That okay. was really nice. 4v4. Now what? Now how do you get into this? If Device oversteps, which he has Hades, has missed a sitter. It may Smokes not cost this. him. Smokes for this. Good angle. This is a shot. Device in the clutch. He could do this. He has to hit a smoke shot. Misses and Kyla combined with Goofy securing a fifth. An unfavorable retake, but they do manage to pull it across the line. And they really could have had a couple more ends, couldn't they? So Astralis, seven for them. They're going to be extremely happy with how that first half has unfolded. But pistol rounds, elusive for the Danes thus far. Change that tune, and you could quickly usher us across to map number three. If that's not the case, we will have a tussle. The back and forth variety. Kyla highlighted there, you could see his impact thus far, 15 kills in total. And a quick chat, a quick breather, no ad break. But still a moment's respite before we let the freeze time trickle on down. Take a look at the buyers that are coming together on either side. It's going to be two flashes in a diffuse kit, currently invested by Astralis. And it looks like four sets of Kevlar. For the T-side pistol. Two smokes, two flashes, and a molly, but spread across four different individuals as it currently stands. Yeah, loved some of the nuance of their retake there. The bait onto Stown starting strong. Get into it then. It's a 4 1 split again. Cave smoke or a short? Is it going to be Hades, deep from Hades? He's questioning his lineup. Are you, are you certain? Oh, we're about to find out. <clears throat> okay. Coming up ramp. Nice goosh to Yabby. Molly he traps him. He has to fight. He's gone down to the flames. And now, with Glaive's help, they're into the side bar down. Have to find him. Supportive flash does nothing. Kind of with a white screen, still finds him. Zent's looking to make this a one-round game. Take the pistol, start with some T-side momentum. Astralis, pistols have been elusive for them. And now Kyle has made it almost impossible by finding Stair. 100 to zero, device left in the clutch and four on the docket. Nothing for him here. Nothing he can do. Just saving the Kevlar, but Goofy's one step ahead, wants his revenge, and can't get it. Gives a kill over to Device. They give uh, many more, can start to get in that territory of buying a Silence Dem 4, but he holds on to the Kevlar. Should be able to buy himself a Famous to go alongside of it. That's as long as he doesn't go down to the bomb. What's the pistol stat so far, though, Chad? Is this... 4-0. It is 4-0. Yeah. Four pistols to end. It certainly sets them up for success, well, we, sets we're, them up. We're discussing the, the start of this map, yeah. the way that the halves have kicked off for Astralis. So <clears> it <throat> was 5-0 to start Vertigo T-side in favor of Ents, and then I believe it was 2-0 to start the second half. So that's seven rounds. Then you plus the three on the first half of this one for them on Ancient CT side. We're up to 10. So out the gate, they're 10 rounds to the good. Now 11. Let's see how much further they can push the issue device. We'll buy up that aforementioned Famous around the save Kevlar. Rest with Deagles and a 5-7 for Yabby. Donut and Red. Molly Cubby. Goofy. Testing the waters of middle as Device throws a whole magazine down range. Nothing connecting. Glaive has Jag. We make that abundantly clear. And across towards Red is keen for Goofy. Can play into this late round. Don't want to fumble. And I think the biggest issue for Ents at the moment is even though they have map control, they're not applying pressure towards B. Take a look at all the smokes. If they get blocked, they're going to be in a, a, a bunch of hot water. So they need to start applying a bit more pressure. There's the first. The same can happen towards Cave. 
I think Goofy, Goofy is this loose piece. That's yep. the difference there you go. maker. Stown just got put, brought low, throws out his, his smoke. Spot is there. Ooh, it's not the ideal weapon for that kind of fight, but now he's uh, he's actually thrown out one of his own smokes to focus his attentions towards A. Now there's another smoke thrown out. They can focus on this fight now. Yeah, being blamed. They're still worried about a push, but this is a big one. Kyla, ooh, two body shots. Puts him on notice. Well, they know. Multiple individuals in CT spawn right now. Oh, there's so uncomfortable in A. You just, oh, what are you supposed to do with this? Yabby, he actually chooses to push. This is Glaive. Perfectly set up for success down, uh, sorry, stair, Bates. Yabby's still alive. Yeah, not anymore. Bait. <laughs> he knows, he's so, he's so aware. He's like, yeah, where are you hiding, young man? And Device just uh, resides himself to the save and a less than ideal position to be put in. Yeah, a bit of a tut of the tongue, a famous. Invested, but didn't even get a chance Not really. to make an impact. So they stalled them out, but yeah, it was Goofy, that key piece. He was the same on Vertigo for them over towards middle in the T side with the MAC-10, bowed them out in a bit of a difficult round. He gave them an avenue to success to tie the scoreline up 7-7. Seven to seven. If they do find device, they remove the Famous. That's great news. They won't have to worry about anything other than maybe a couple of upgraded P250s into the next. They're hunting, oh. hunting, hunting, and pocket... Yeah. <laughs> Hades at that point just holding it sideways, holding down mouse one. Does su successfully hit the drive by. No fan has to worry about. Right, well, only retaining one of the Mac 10s. It's been gifted to Diha, who has a decent mid slash A spawn. Third tactical timeout, curiously enough. So hmm. Cuban opting to take his last timeout. Now, knowing they're going up against what should be the lightest buy thus far in the half. Curious. Indeed. Maybe he didn't like what he had heard in far as the call had gone, or, or, or maybe he just wants to say, boys, this is the importance right now. We can get ourselves eight, put ourselves in the lead, know we're going into the next gun round with a great opportunity to still close this in two and punch our ticket. Yeah, you can pack away your peripherals and you can be confident that not only is your signature gun stickers going to be in the game, but you will be there in Copenhagen for the first major in CS2. Just six rounds time. That's all you need. They've bolstered quite heavily, so they've brought out another MAC-10 and another AK. Thought they might have gone lighter on, but Blame F with a Deagle in red. Smoked off. Can't see anything whatsoever. Three towards B, one towards A. A couple of warning shots pipe through the smoke as they will take Tetris control. So mid, full end of the remit of Ents right now. They're in no rush. This time they don't have to worry about the smokes blocking their scale. And speaking of scale, they're a bit slippery. He's close. Dihar considers and shreds him. Back 10 up close and personal. No armor. Thank you very much. That nade could do a decent chunk of damage. Yes. Damage. Yeah, Dihar's just walking in, taking his sight. Taking it by force. Triple kill on the entry. Farming up some $600 kills. It's a nice one from Blame, but very short-lived and immediate trade from Goofy to secure it. Oh, well, they can get that AK back, Dihar's. Scooped that up, and Goofy is the next point of contact. But yeah, I'll be the final player standing. He goes down. And eight to seven, Astralis. Please stand up. With the real Astralis. Please stand up. Copenhagen awaits. But it's two maps away for Astralis and Glaive. Seen as the. Uh, Gem in the Astralis crown alongside with Device for both leadership and orping prowess. Oh, we know how extra motivation he found to beat them last time round. I'm sure that still exists as we go to do battle extinguish on mid, pressure applied. And Alex, they're actually going to search towards A. I, I don't think they'll commit towards A, but they are going to search towards A. It's going to be the orb. Oh, oh, sorry, what? How's that happen? Did Blaine push close mid and Goofy's push. found him? He pushed. Blame watching now from the sidelines in a very important round for Astralis. Well, this has just changed. I don't know if you need to search over towards A anymore. You could just chill. Lock down some map control. Because Astralis seem to be scrambling. Yeah, you can see Stown's already jiggling out. Feels like he has to be the one to make the play. Find that equalizing frag. Goofy. Getting shot at. Yabi not prepared. Not at all. Completely caught unawares. And they know they goosh Stown. Uh-oh. Yo, Stair, he has to be the hero here. He's tucked into the corner and ahead of the smoke. 
There's a lot of riding on stair with a loss of device. Oh, is there too little too late here from stair? What can you do? Stown's on B. Stown is alone on B. You've just got stair. Deny the plan if no one's watching. If no one's watching, Hades provides the covering fire required. Damn. Yeah. Well, they know where Stown holds. On the other side of the map, how have they been able to pull this off? I don't understand how quickly that fell apart there. Well, did did they think they threw an elbow smoke? Because there was, right, that's the thing. There was the Molly's mid. Didn't Goofy kill him with a Mac 10? I think he did, but Blaine pushed right up. Uh, so it was one of those uh, running past your crosshair I'm through sure the smoke. I'm sure we'll catch it in the replay. Yeah, but Snown, I mean, he just has to accept that this might get hunted. helpless save. And yeah, they're coming for him. Plenty of bodies thrown his way. They're flashing into spawn. They're going to hard clear oh. him. They're going to remove and clean the board. Glaive with the final kill. Oh, and that is going to feel good. Goofy with a big smile on his face. Forget about the woes of the missed knife in the first half. Right now, nine to seven. Max lost bonus for Astralis. That doesn't justify a full buy. And the mood somewhat soured. The last... Oh, he's just come straight through the smoke. Oof. And this one from Yabby as well. Inexcusable. It's not prepared. The last chance qualifier is calling. Nine pandas, Fnatic, Bet Boom. And maybe, just maybe, Astralis added to that list. Yeah, look at him go. It's like he just comes alive with the knowledge that they probably don't have helmets, they probably don't have rifles. What type of risk does Dihad take? They are returning to the possibility now. And he is playing on the fade, so not trying to weasel through. That Molly implies his presence and then some. And now he starts keeping the pressure on all over the shop. Device worried about him. Their contact walking A. No one's made a sound cue. Now they do. Molly out towards the big box. Pushing in. Molly. Oh, it's so awkward. He's in the flames. Takes down by Glaive. Donut clear. Rotation through mid. Plenty. D has distracted. Stair will find him. Now the CTs have something to work with. It is just mid, but the smoke thrown out by Glaive. Oh, should have been enough. Stair catches him through the smoke. Maybe there's something here for Astralis. This could turn the tides of battle. No kit. Nice shots down. Braves it, and Hades didn't spot him on the jump either. Yabby walking in now, Goofy to clear. Nails it, and yeah, after all of the hard work, trying to find a way back in, Stair's just gonna have to try and save. Ooh. Should we talk about these stars to halves again? Because now that's another five consecutive. Yep. True. Four pistols over what? 10 rounds so, more than that? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So we got 10, 13, 15 rounds in, 15. in all start of halves so far. Just by virtue of uh, starting strong, it's definitely put them in pole position. Well, think <laughs> about the type of rounds that have been accrued in this spree, right? We've had pistol rounds, force buy, eco, gun round, now light buy, and now gun round again. And that's in a six round spread. Mm. And obviously there's your choice of how you want to navigate the economy, right? Do we want to go for the force buy in the second? Do we think it's better to wait for the third and go for a full eco? Right? Th those are all the different options that you have available. I think when you contend for the economy in the early stages, if you can make sure they're competitive rounds, which it wasn't. Remember, it was Device who got two kills on the way out the door. It's five players staying alive. He takes two to the grave That's with him. Right. But they were happy to throw bodies to remove the famous. It wasn't like, oh, only two players survive and they've done a lot of damage and there's more damage done to the economy. Look at the finances for ends at the moment. They have at least two residual gun rounds. And they only need three total to take themselves to Copenhagen. Whew. Deep breath. Both sides of the server. Lot riding on this one. They start three mid. And it's a direct approach for dispatch towards the B side of the map to start. Lane Molly slows down Kyla's crawl. Looking to go on this. Yeah. Down, it's nailed him. Good work. Lazy Power beam. position from Stout. Spamming away, nearly takes down D here there, puts his legs in the crossfire. They're not going to be able to help Goofy towards middle. If they weren't just posturing for a PX queue, now they're in a lot of hot water. Oh, so Stan's giving one back, but Stair, he can ride oh. the ship. No, oh, he can't. Oh, Stair. He started. Device will finish. Three on three. Hades is investigating, seeing what space is available to up the ramp. Oh, and he's caught Device transitioning out, just that sliver gap. Blame onto Dihan, that's fantastic. 
finishes from the wall bang and damage from Stair, but Goofy and Hades are on polar opposites ends of the map. Yeah, he's been here the entire time. He was even in a, a more forward position only moments ago. The biggest issue for them is the B bomb. He's just side. left A. He has completely, and, and that's curious because Blame's already out in mid, so I guess they want to search back control, which they felt like they already had. So Blame will investigate. Yabby now sent back, but oh, Goofy's passed on a timer. 30 seconds. But the bomb's B. Yeah, I, I don't know how Goofy's meant to contribute. Hades will have to start moving soon. Unless Blame just starts rotating back loudly. Yeah, they, they're going to rotate. So there's a gap opened up. Oh, this is B's gaming. open. This B's is gaming. Open. He's going to be able to communicate. There's another one. Yabby. Stay alive, this is Goofy. It. Goofy's alive. Hades has got a free plant. This is suddenly turning the round on its head. Goofy has sold them a fake. Hades can go aggressive now and take the orb all the way down the speedway. Oh, this no. is perfect. Astralis. Hook in their cheek. Baited. And now running out of options. Yabby, what can you do? He has to be the hero. A missed shot from Hades. That's exploitable. Running him down. But there's Hades for 11. Goofy and Hades, completely isolated, separate sides of the map, but they piece it together together. I just don't know why Yabby's left A in that situation because Blame had all that mid control. Damn. Right, He was in the cutout in middle, he jumped up, he completely cleared B lane. In the timing that Yabby left his eyes on A, Goofy found the gap. They don't lose that round if Yabby's just temple. But I wonder what called him back because Blame didn't need the help. No. Bizarre, bizarre. I suppose, you know, he's listening to the dialogue and they're talking about what they're going to do and he wants to feel like he's contributing, but he actually opened up an opportunity. Just think, a little gap. I, I think Ents are faking a fast A right now. Yabby's ahead of the play. If he gets a couple of... That's going to force a big rotation. Uh -oh. They've done a fast donut smoke. They did the lineup from Spawn as well as CT. Uh, you think that should draw a big rotation? Dha's working up the B ramp during all of this. Yeah, but Stan and Stair are here. And with Stair finding the first from that little cubby... He can smoke off the ramp, and this round now slows down. Yeah, not a potent fake by any stretch, even with the kill. Oh, it's down, oh, really? This would be too much, wouldn't it? Oh, he's got a freebie. <gasps> oh, perfect. And it's the bomb? No, it's not. It's just Hades losing the orb. But these guys are dead too. Blame nearly gets them both with the MP9. Astralis, this is a stabilizing round. And it is all on to Kyla now. Fired off a shot. He's got 23 kills. He's been having a game. He's having a great game. And he's hitting every shot he takes. <laughs> oh, man. Got to watch out for Kyler. He really is in it to win it, but that's a big one back. Astralis is going to be very happy with that. I thought, and I, I like the call from Entz because you expect Astralis to be quite sketched out, right? Ready to rotate quickly when there's any action, the pressure's on. That's the first CT round, and it was them withstanding a fake after giving up the opening kill. So that shows they've got the minerals. Got to do it the hard way. Another one of those required to break the finances events. Abby wants to try and contend for this early B lane. Tees Molotov him away. Device Playing. Absorb's coming back. Playing the fade of Elbow as well. Device rotates through. They've completely left A open now. Boost him. Ooh, Hades versus Device. An orb head to head. Doesn't see it. What a shot! Oh, Hades with an absolute wristy flick. It's device in the dirt. Blame close mid on his own. Spotted. Yeah, he fired off a shot. Hanging him up. Not a, not a fun fight for Blame. No, trying to not get away. Trying to get away. He's getting run down. Nails the shot. Trade is there. Deha finds it, man. Advantage. Are you looking for the fight as well? Deha spotted out. This would be a hell of a shot, and he nails it. That's important. Now Stare has been positioned. Behind the boxes, here's Goofy running in, charging in. Still catches him on the clear. Huge frag smite now from Stare and Yabby. Kyla needs to chill. Hades needs to activate. Hades is worried about Stare. He knows he's still alive. He knows he's very slow on it, these rotates. It might be a save. Oh, the shadow. Gets the best of us. I'm not sure how the two of them are meant to get back in with only 17 seconds. Yeah. It's going to be so, It's too hard to break this site. Are they really going to give it a go? No smoke either. Like, what are you supposed to do? 10? Eight. You know there's a play. Ten, got, no time to plan. No time to plan. Yeah, it's tough. Hades has to get away 
Hold on to what he can. All right. Well, there you have it, Astralis. Cre credit, I think, to, to Stare there, being in the right place at the right time. A, a was open for a long time during that round. Uh, Goofy just taking his sweet time, didn't manage to find that gap this time. Yeah, uh, Blame overcommitted, but the fact he still gets one. Yeah. Right, if he didn't get anything there, that would have spelt disaster for Astralis. But they're working their way back into things now. Consecutive rounds posted on the CT side. That drought of six rounds to start the half. Put Ents in touching distance, but the finances get wobbly. And Kuban gets another chance on the mic after burning his so early. Astralis have given him the opportunity to try and maybe give him some words of encouragement, some advice on how you find these remaining two elusive rounds. I don't know how necessary this is. This was the banger from Hades. Yeah. That was a great bang. shot from the Polish sniper onto the head of Device. The beauty. They've actually allowed Hades to retain his cash. And D has bought in with a Galil. So wanting to make sure they can prioritize the AWP in future Five rounds B? by the looks of things. Okay. What are we doing here, lads? It's a go, it's a go. It's going! Kyla, the aim god so far with all of his frags. Can he find any more? 24, looking for five. Stair takes him down. And this pace change has been handled by Stout. Glaive, however, makes the difference. There's another swing in through. Down goes Yabi Astralis. They just threw all their bodies straight into the spray. A pace change off the back of the timeout from Astralis. All of your team talks. It means nothing. Device asking, where is there a kit? I can see one towards the site. Smokes off ramp. Boost. I have to scramble. He doesn't know that they were both committed. That spam. Oh. Jeez, didn't see well, he's going to blow open the smoke. They're going to clear the smoke when he goes for the defuse. So the rifle, they're both very low. A couple of bullets in that smoke. Could be the right one. Picks up the kit. Just going for the hold. Sit. Pros don't sit. fake. Pros don't fake. Glaive trying to fake it out. Oh, he works. He falls for it. Off the bomb now. Looks like they've done enough. Hades can close. Device on the bomb. Back turned. Hades, you just have to shoot him. You just have to shoot him. 12 is theirs. Yeah, a sigh of relief for Ents. As oh, the Device classic. God. Yeah, he's feeling the frustrations there. Uh, and you know how horrible it feels when it's just a uh, B rush. Uh, just a B rush after finding two consecutive. Goofy did massive work, didn't he? They were just playing a map as funneling in towards that long side, shot after shot. Uh, it's not good when Mike Tyson comes out, is it? Uh, oh dear, oh. One more round for Ents. They can lock themselves in for the major. They can condemn Astralis to the last chance qualifier. Two Danes in the first Danish major. Is that really the reality? LCQ will work it out, but right now, Make it three, because Glaive, he's one round away from securing it. We've got Hooksy on G2. We've got Carrigan on phase. And you've got Glaive on ends. The Danish in-game leader, Supremacy. At least one of the legends guaranteed a shot at the first CS2 major. Does it all end here? Astralis push all of their chips to the center of the table. A missed opportunity from Hades. Uh, oh, wow. Caught out. Device, full focus. He's begging for overtime. Gagging for it. Going to clear cave from either side of the swing. Makes it very hard for Device. But he still managed to take the one. Traded by Goofy. Now it's up to this one. Stair trying to go aggressive. Orp will clear him. Two players to try and defend their honor. To try and secure him at three. Yabby's pushing. Hades has the bomb. He'll be hitting them. Water, maybe. Blame, blame. Oh, down to Hades. It's all onto Yabby, folks. Strap in. A 1v3 B retake. With nothing more than an SMG, a shotgun. Pardon me. There's no way. There's nothing for Yabby here. Ends. Ends have done it. They're off to Copenhagen. A huge sigh of relief. And Glaive takes down Astralis to do it. Poetic for sure. And they've done it in two again. It wasn't as dominant at Katowice, but it didn't need to be. Ents victorious in Bucharest. Over to you boys. Break that one down.